Sample problem, for a given inorganic soil, the following are known. Classify the soil using the USCS and give the group symbol and the group name. So, ang percent passing number 4 is 100%. So, that means meron tayong idea na it's not a gravel. Kasi lahat ng particle nagpass through sa number 4. And percent passing number 200 is equal to 77% or dominant ang nagpass through sa number 200. So, we also have an idea that possible na ito siya is a fine-grained material. Liquid limit is 63 and plasticity index is 25. So, given ang, li ang liquid limit and ang plasticity index, that would also mean that the soil is really a fine-grained material. Kasi in, <coughs> in the first place, hindi naman ibibigay yung mga consistency indices if the soil is a coarse-grained material. So, again, we have this uh, table. <coughs> so, solution. The percent passing number 200 is 77%. Hence, it is a fine-grained soil. So, as I have mentioned earlier, uh, masyadong marami ang nagpass through sa number 200. So, we have a hint that the soil is indeed a fine-grained soil. So, it's either CL, ML, OL, CH, MH, and OH. The liquid limit is 63. Hence, it is either CH or MH. Bakit dalawa na lang ang, ang possible? Because the soil is inorganic. So, lahat ng mga merong prefix na O, uh, eliminated na yan siya. Okay? And also, yung CL and ML, hindi na rin, na rin siya kasali because these soils are considered as in uh, uh, I mean, lahat ng prefix na may O, which is OL and OH, are, ano, are considered as organic. Okay. Next, so let's plot the liquid limit and the plasticity index in the Casa Grande chart. So, the value of liquid limit is 63, more or less, and ito yan siya. Okay. And then, the value of the plasticity index is equal to 25. So, more or less, andito yan siya. So, the point lies below the A line according to this chart. So, let's go back. From the Casa Grande's PI versus LL chart, the soil's consistency properties plots below the A line. Hence, the soil is classified as MH. So, nakita natin dito that um, since the PI or the LL and PI point plots below the A-line, so it's really MH. Okay? Ito namang nasa taas, itong CL and ML. PI is greater than 7. Hindi pwede. Uh, uh, pwede siya, but it should plot on or above the A-line. So, hindi siya pwede. Okay? Kasi yung yung isang criteria na dapat yung LL and PI point must be plotted above the A-line. Ito namang ML is not possible because the value of PI is less than, must be less than 4. But the value of PI of this soil is equal to 25. So, ang pinaka the best yun na classification for this soil is MH. Okay? Next, what is the group name of this uh, soil? So, you can also get this um, flow chart from the book of Brahadas. So, ang MH is meron siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 possible um, group names. It can either be elastic silt, elastic silt with sand, sandy elastic silt, gravelly elastic silt, etc. But before that, Punta muna tayo, tayo dito sa, sa left portion ng flowchart. So, ang MH may be classified into two. Depende sa uh, percent na nag-retain sa number 200 or percent plus number 200. 
or that means yung mga percent na mas malaki pa sa number 200. Okay, so the soil has 23% retained in number 200. Saan kinuha yung 23%? So, 100 minus 77. Kasi yung 77, yun yung mas maliit pa sa number 200. Kaya nag-pass through sila sa sieve number 200. So, that means 23% lang ang nag sa number 200. So, it it falls under this category. Yung less than 30% plus number 200. So, ang option na lang natin is either elastic silt, elastic silt with sand, at elastic silt with gravel. Okay? Uh, next, the the percentage of of particles that retains on uh, number 200 is 23%. So, na belong siya sa 15 to 29% na range. So, that means itong elastic silt na category, crash out na po na siya. So, ang nabili na lang is that elastic silt with sand and elastic silt with gravel. So, depende sa percentage ng sand and percentage of gravel. If the percent of sand is greater than percent of gravel, then the group name will be elastic silt with sand. Otherwise, the group name will be elastic silt with gravel. So, let us now compute what is the percent of sand and percent of gravel. So, the percent of sand is equal to 23%. So, sand kinuha yan siya. Um, yung 100% minus percent passing number 200. So, 23%. And the percent of gravel is 0% because all particles passes number 4. Or walang nag sa number 4. Thus, the percent of sand, which is 23%, is greater than the percent of gravel. Therefore, the soil's group name is elastic silt with sand. And the group symbol is MH.